Well, hey guys, it's Rob and the Lady Biker. How is everyone doing today? Well, out for a ride on this beautiful heritage. And, you know, you all know how much I love my girl Scarlett. I absolutely love her. Scarlett is a 2020 Harley Davidson Road King. What I rented from West Coast Motorcycle Hire is a 2018 Harley Davidson Softail Heritage. And, you know, a lot of people talk about is there really a big difference between a Heritage and a Road King? And you know what? I've got my opinions on that. So, tell you what, let's talk about it. All right. Hey, guys. So, as I said, after having ridden this beautiful heritage for a few days, I thought I would talk about, you know, is there really a big difference between a soft tail or the heritage and a road king? And in my opinion, and I'm going to have to be so, so incredibly definitive here, guys. Yes and no. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's talk about, yes, there are differences. Number one. It's the frame. The saw or the heritage is basically a touring bike setup on a soft tail frame. Whereas the Road King is a stripped down kind of more traditional soft tail version bike on a touring frame. So now I know there are so many of you out there who have so much more knowledge than I do. This is just my opinion take it for that all right the differences in the ride because of the frame now the heritage is lighter than the road king and i would have to say by about uh, 50 kilograms 100 pounds plus or minus and because of that they ride very very different now i find personally and this is just me I find that the, the way a heritage feels is a little stiffer. Um, I don't know how to describe it any way other than that. And so because of that, I tend to fatigue faster on a heritage because the ride is not as comfortable. Now, if you're riding just a day ride, just around town, um, you know, 250 miles, 400 kilometers, you know, something like that, you're really not going to feel the difference. You're not. However, I would hesitate to make the trip across the southern coast or even around uh, the whole loop of Australia on a heritage. And I sure would, and after having done a couple of cross-country trips on my bike, I definitely would hesitate to put my body on a long trip, like my epic summer road trip Allie and I took last summer, on a heritage. It's, I just, I would have fatigued more. Um, yeah, that kind of stuff. So, whereas for the Road King, the Road King is built for distance. It is built I'm just going to say it right here because I know so many of you out there love your road glides. But the Road King is called the Road King for a reason. <laughs> the center of gravity is low. It's, it's just, it is built for comfort and long distance. Pure and simple. So, other differences. It's like I mentioned before, the weight. The heritage now, it is, it is lighter. So if you are concerned about the overall weight of a Road King, you may be more comfortable on the Heritage, but I find the extra weight to actually improve the ride, improve the handling. I know some of you are going to roll your eyes and you're going to drop down in the comments and argue with me, but you know what? That is my preference and my opinion. I just find that weight to bring more comfort and control to the ride. Um, so, one is the frame, two is the weight. Uh, difference number three that I have found, the saddlebags. The, oh, I want to 
take this Sunset Coast Tourist Drive. That sounds fun. Let's take that road. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to take that one yet. Do I? No, I don't. I'm looking for 204. Let's hope I didn't miss it. So, anyway. Um, saddlebags. Back to saddlebags. Yes, there is a difference. The difference in the size of the saddlebag and the, how the saddlebag is designed. The Road King kicks butt every day of the week. It's, they've got bigger bags. They're hard bags. They're color matched. And the way the Heritage saddlebag is designed, its catch bar for the lock is right in the middle of the bag and extends about a third of the way into the bag. So if you need to get something down and in there that has any kind of rigidity to it, you're not gonna do it. It's just not gonna happen. So, there is that. Uh, forget it, I'm taking this one because I just want to go along the road. Ah, uh, there it is. Yep, it is Sunset Coast Tourist Ride that I wanted to do. Yay, we're gonna do this. Okay, guys, no, nope. that wasn't the one I wanted to take. <laughs> okay, so back to those saddlebags. My opinion, the Road King bag, just the way it's designed with the fact that the catch is, it's really close to the outer edge. It's designed to make the opening in the mouth of the bag just so much bigger. It much, much better design in my opinion. All right, guys, sorry, had to jump out of there because of traffic for a moment. All right, so we've talked about the differences. So let's talk about a few similarities. Similarity number one. All right, we just got to say it. Harley, seriously, really? The stock seat on both this Heritage and on the Rogue King suck. Wait a minute, did, did, was I a bit too like strong in that opinion? <laughs> yes, I was. Sorry, not sorry. They are awful. I mean, the seats, neither one of them are good for back support. They have pressure points around the sit bones or those bones in your butt. And they're just not comfortable. So if you're considering a Heritage or a Road King, and they're both great bikes, just plan one of the first things you're going to swap out is going to be the seat. It, you, you just are. All right, so second similarity or second thing they have in common is a low center of gravity. I love, and I know I'm about to just make some people go, oh, you're killing me, Smalls. I'm not a fan of the fairings. They make a bike top heavy. And especially for a woman, now I know some women who can get on those uh, big baggers with fairings and can rock their ride. I mean, seriously rock their ride. I don't prefer it because it does lift the center of gravity. And you have to be prepared and be skilled enough to handle a bike that has that high center of gravity. I prefer that lower center of gravity. I just, the bike feels more stable to me. So that's something to take into account whenever you're looking at Harleys, whether you're comparing uh, soft tails, tro touring bikes, baggers, you know, whatever it is that you're looking at is what, where the center of the gravity of the bike is. And when you've put down, you know, 350, 400 miles in a day, how are you going to feel? How are you going to be able to handle a bike that is that top heavy? Just something to think about. So anyway, guys, that is just probably scratching the surface. And there are probably so many more differences and similarities. And <laughs> I love that sound. So, you know, if you have your own thoughts on the differences in the Heritage and the Road King and the similarities, Drop down in the comments and let's talk about them. Share some of your thoughts and your tips and your observations about the good and the bad, you know, the, the similarities and the differences. Because at the end of the day, 
It's about sharing our knowledge with each other that really makes this motorcycle community so much better. So, okay, guys, with that being said, I am looking for my road back towards the coast. And then I am just going to have a great ride. So with that said, everyone, when you can, get out and ride. When you do, have fun, be safe, and I'm going to catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.